They did what? When? How? Are you sure? <sighs> Y'all have a good night. And to all. <laughs> Why the f- everybody calling my phone blowing me up? What the fuck? What happened? What's going on? I'm going back to bed. Good night. Okay, so Snoop Dogg's reaction to everybody uh, adding him and contacting him about the Drake diss Taylor made freestyle, and I think everybody missed because people were asking how did how did uh, Drake do it? Drake is out of pocket, all those things. Snoop gave you everything you needed to know in his reaction. When if you pay attention, first he was acting like he was shocked and surprised and how and all that. That was funny. But he looked down at his jacket. He's wearing a death row jacket. Now, I believe it was in like early 2022, Snoop uh, acquired the rights to death row. So he probably has some rights or publishing rights as far as Tupac's voice is concerned, because I think that's the last uh, contract Tupac was under. So I'm sure Drake contacted Snoop who contacted the family or whoever's uh you know i think his brother is probably in charge of that his estate or whatever um and that's how drake was able to use uh the ai for that record because that's probably going to be an official record uh depending on how it does it's doing very well so that's yeah that's how that happened uh snoop showed you when he showed you the death row uh insignia on his jacket that's what that said the yellow writing on the black jacket was death row because Snoop is the control controller of the publishing for Death Row and the rights to it. So that breaks the secret right there. So like I said, the Taylor made track is going crazy. Check out my uh, reaction slash uh, lyrics explained bar breakdown video. Uh, I'll put the link. The link is up there at the top of the video right now. Um, I see the Chris Brown diss track towards Quavo. Now I heard Tinder uh, when... when um, Quavo dissed uh, Chris Brown, I, and I thought it was cool. You know, not they're not like bar heavy with double entendres and things like that. If you want me to do a bar breakdown, leave it in the comments. I will. Um, but what what I will say about it is, especially um, weakest link is Quavo. I have different advice for you than I have for Kendrick Lamar. It's okay to lose sometimes. It's okay to lose. Look, you, you, we, uh, Tender was a good diss track. It really was. I understand Chris Brown threw some shots, uh, in another song towards you. You came back with a full diss track. It was a very good diss track. Chris Brown came back with the sweeper. You know, we thought we was going with single action. You know what I'm saying? He came back with the automatic. It is okay to just bow out of this one. I do not trust you all to keep this on wax. Even though they did put y'all, I saw the whole thing where y'all was next to each other at a fashion show or something like that. So y'all do, do know how to, you know, keep it civil. But at the same time, this seems like really, really personal and not just career stuff. Uh, so yeah, Quavo, just, it's okay. Just, you know, next album, throw a couple subliminal shots and let's, let's, let's let this one go. Just take the loss because Chris Brown does not seem to be playing at all. I'm from Chicago. I can tell when somebody's playing and when they're not. He don't seem to be playing. Let's just leave it alone. But that's my take on it. But Snoop, getting back to on subject, Snoop told us uh, everything we need to know with the death row jacket, y'all. So that's that's this is gonna be for fun. You all have to understand. Yes, it's competition. Yes, it's serious. Yes, there's money on the line. But at the same time, it's fun. You know what I'm saying? It's 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 that real hip hop friendly competition. There has there doesn't have to be any um real problems behind it. And yes, like I said in my um, the AI discussion video and the ghostwriting discussion video, link is above right there. There's going to be a lot of help. There's going to be a lot of gamesmanship. There's going to be a lot to this battle because this is really a new, new millennium battle. With the AI, this is what, it's, this is what it is. Social media, all of that's going to play a part. So for all of you old fuddy-duddies, who I doubt that are even older than me. Like I said, I'm in my 40s. So 
y'all really need to just get with the times or just go listen to some old jay-z uh records and 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 you know just stay there you know get you a terrible plaid shirt with some baggy jeans and put a band-aid on your face for no reason at all with a wave cap and uh what else you need some untied timberlands you know that's that's what you need to do don't worry about what the new stuff is what's going on in the new era of hip-hop so to speak but anyway thank you for watching us i'm your boy professor lex like share subscribe to the channel thanks for everybody who subscribed comment on the video let me know if you wanted me to do a bar breakdown of either tender or chris brown's weakest link i will any other song any other tracks anybody who has crazy rhymes that you want deciphered and i don't care who it is or you know as long as it's good um if you want me to do bar breakdowns of any song you can think of you always want to know what the lyrics meant uh leave it in the comments below and i will see if i can do that thank you for watching professor lex beats bar breakdown lyrics explained we out peace